Okay, let's just get out of the way and say it like it is. Rise and Wrath Mentor expansion is probably the worst design expansion and the least needed expansion from all the Cloud Spire expansions. The reason why I say this is pretty much two points and I'll address them really quickly for those who are wondering. The first problem with the Horizon Wrath expansion is the design. Now, don't get me wrong, the Spires look great. They do really look good, but when I mean by design, I mean functionality design. The spires in this game, especially for Horizon's Wrath, they're too big and as I'll demonstrate in a video when you put them down on the map they take up more than a hex so if you have a spire and chips next to you you're going to be always in conflict it gets pretty bad when you have two spires or the game gets really intense and there's a couple of source points next to each other you can really clog the map and then you're bumping chips and spires and things are falling apart so the uprising miniature spires those spires are too small you can't get chips in them maybe I got a bad batch of spires all right around spires are too big and the uprising spires, I can't get the chips in, they're too tight. Look at the video and see what I'm just trying to say. And that's the first point why this expansion, I would not recommend it to a friend or anybody I know. And the second reason is this expansion adds to the spires for the two new factions. Normally, that's for cosmetics, it's great, but the problem is Cloud Spire at max is a four player game. And in the base miniatures, you get five different faction spires. So the five different factions. So if you're going to play Cloud Spire, most you're going to use four spires. And with this expansion, it's like, well, you don't really technically need the two more spires because you can use any, when you're playing a four-player game, any of the other in the base box. And because of that, um, and the bad design, uh, when we're playing the game, we actually rarely use the Horizon Wrath spires. Please understand, they do look nice. Like, they really have an appeal to them, but the functionality is off and maybe it's just my batch I'm not sure maybe I'm the only one but that's my experience with it and how I feel about it ultimately is it worth $35 I think the spire design is worth the money but because of the functionality it's not you're better off by taking the buying the base game spires and taking that 35 whatever dollars it is now and buying another expansion cloud spire instead because they will give you far more replayability and the functionality of spires you can get from the base game that's my thoughts on the Spires, and if you want to hang around, I'll show you kind of a breakdown of my list of best to worst expansions for Cloud Spire. And if you want more in-depth reasons behind it, you can always go and watch other videos. Thanks so much for watching, and to the one man on, uh, on YouTube that asked about it, hopefully this helps you out, boss man. Enjoy.